how do we use VLOOKUP efficiently? I like, let's, let's use this uh, exercise here. So we're going to talk about VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a very, very useful function. I, I kind of find it that uh, a lot of people new to Excel, um, when they discover VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP has to be used to solve everything. VLOOKUP is just a big revelation. Wow, this thing just kind of pulled out exactly what I wanted. So every table you see has rows and columns. So if you look at this table, I have how many columns here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six columns on this table and quite a lot of rows. Right, so Cadbury is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Cadbury in this table. Cadbury is in row two. Uh, what am I looking for for Cadbury? I'm looking for Cadbury's EBIT, earnings before interest and tax. That is in column one, two, three, four, five. So that will be 12.6. So what VLOOKUP does is this. VLOOKUP, you tell VLOOKUP, hey, look for Cadbury in this first column. Go to, in this table, go to the first column and look for something. That's Cadbury. When you find it, I will tell you which, that means when you find that thing in this first column, I want you to now go to a corresponding column. So. I want you to go to EBITS column. EBITS column is one, two, three, four, five. So let's just do it. Let's just see. It calls to VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP, what are we looking for? We're looking for Cadbury. Where am I looking for Cadbury? I'm looking for it in this table. Ideally, you should name this table as best practice. It's already named the table. And column, what column is EBIT? It's one, two, three, four, five. So I type five and I type OK. Now, what I've just done here is like a sin. <laughs> Why do I call it a sin? This is a sin, in, especially when you build models. One thing you must never, ever, ever, ever do when you build a model or when you're writing a formula is to hard code. This is called hard coding. Don't type something into a formula that could need, you will need to change later. If it will never change, yes, you could go ahead and type it. But for example, I've typed five in here. Why did I type five? Because this is one, two, three, four, five. EBIT is five. What about if this EBIT changes to FCFF? That means it's not going to be five, column five anymore. It's going to be column one, two. So this is wrong. You don't do this. So how do we solve this? You delete that. And then we need a function that can go ahead and do the counting we did manually. This one, two, three, four, five we did manually was simply we're going to the heading and we're looking for where EBIT is. EBIT is number five in the heading. So we need a function that can do that. And the name of the function is match. So how do you put a function in a function? You just type it in there and open and close your bracket. Once you put match and open and close your bracket, because every function starts with an open and a close bracket, once you do that, you go to your formula bar and you click inside your formula bar. Click the name of the function in your formula bar. Once you do that, the function dialog box comes out for that function. See the match? If I go back to VLOOKUP, this is the VLOOKUP function argument box. If I go to match, this is the match function argument box. Cool. So what is match asking for? Exactly what we did manually. We were looking for EBIT. We were looking for EBIT in the headings, this one here. Yeah, and it's good you lock it. And match type, just take it as zero. It's most 99% of the time it's going to be zero. It's just a code that says look for an exact match. That's what zero does. So if you look at it, match has found five. This five is going to be passed to VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP now has match that automatically gets that for us. And then we have everything solved. You can see zero at the end here. This zero means please do exactly as I say VLOOKUP. Don't do anything else. That's what zero means. Zero means false, which means look for exactly what I asked you to look for. That's what zero means. You could also type false in here. It's the same thing, false and zero. So click OK. And that's our formula. We found that. Okay, so we'll put a percentage there. I can quickly move it to a number. So that is VLOOKUP. So if I come in here and type FCFE, you can see that Cadbury's FCFE is 0. Point, which is kind of the same as 0 0.15. Come here and type Nestle. Nestle's FCFE is supposed to be this negative here. And can you see that? That works perfectly. Excellent. Thanks for watching another training video from Deep Brown Consulting. See you in the next video.